Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing what's called a crafty goodness swap. Um, on this challenge, it's a challenge in a group. And um, on this challenge this week, they are doing some sort of card, like a playing card, um, time card, some sort of card. I chose um, flashcards. And um, you're supposed to decorate it with five or six different things. You had to do the flash card or some sort of card, had to have flowers, had to have um, something that was broken, some sort of mesh, something that's gold, and a piece of fabric. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that on camera today since um, I'm doing the swap over in that group. I'm gonna link the group in the description if I can so that you can go check it out. They do a different swap every week and what it is is you sign up for how many swaps you want to do and, um, and then you put your address in there and they'll set you up with partners who you're gonna be swapping with. So I don't know who my partners are yet. Um, I just signed up for the swap today and I just wanna go ahead and get my pieces done. And I had fun making the first one, so I wanted to, I wanted to show it with you guys. It was kind of fun and maybe you'll want to just um, play along for the fun of it. So my card is like three inches wide. So I'm going over an inch and I'm marking at an inch Whoops. Marking is little lines at each inch here. Three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So I'm going over an inch on my ruler, an inch this way. And let's see here, get it all lined up properly. And I'm gonna mark at each inch increment. I should have gotten something else to use because on this one I'm running into issues um, being able to see my lines. So there's that part. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and ink it with some Distress ink. Go ahead and go all the way around it. So again, the swap's in the group. Um, by the time I get this uploaded, the swap might be over because I kind of caught it at the end. But like I said, they do a different one every week, so you can join the group and play along if you want to. And um, have some people to swap, make stuff for and swap with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and puncture my holes. So, where I mark those little uh, inch increments, I'm gonna puncture holes on each one of them. Let's see here, where's my other one? There it is. And I'll show you why. So I don't really have something broken, so I'm going to show you in a minute what we're going to do in order to resolve that problem. <laughs> they had recommended like jewelry or something like that to add to it. Again, I don't have that sort of thing, so I'm going to wing it. So we got that. I got all my holes there? Yeah. Okay. And then I want to add some stickers. So, because we needed something that was floral. So, actually, no. I want to do this first. So, I got this Art Nouveau. I think it's Art Nouveau. Nouveau Glitter Drops. Um, I don't know what color it is. Golden Sunset. It's kind of like a bronze color, which is supposed to have gold. That's one of, part of the challenge. So, we're going to add some of this. I just like to randomly put it on here. I don't have a rhyme or reason for any of it. And I like to smear it around with my fingers. Yes, this is messy. Um, I have an alcohol wipe ready at hand to be able to clean up my fingers. So something like that. See, alcohol wipe, just wipe off as much of that as I can. Get the lid back on it. I mean, I'm gonna decide where I wanna put a couple of stickers because we need something floral. I got these stickers on Amazon a very long time ago, like literally years ago. put this rose there 
And then I'm going to choose hmm. which one do I want? I think I'm going to choose this one. To go here. Okay. So now because this art nouveau glitter drop stuff is going to take a while to dry, I've actually got one pre-prepared. <laughs> this one's dry. So we're going to switch. Now, the thing about it being broken, something broken, this is how I'm doing this. We're going to rip it down the middle in between our punctured holes. Ta-da! Now it's broke. Going to grab some ink because I want this edge inked. A little bit more on the edge there. Okay. Okay, so now we have our broken piece. Now I'm going to take this tool because it, 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 the part of the challenge was to add mesh. And I didn't really know what mesh meant. I figured tool, um, cheesecloth, some laces kind of resemble mesh in my opinion. So that's what, that's what I'm going with. Um, so I'm just going to start adding some glue kind of on here because I don't, I don't know what else to do. Just put some glue, smear it around. You know, maybe, maybe I got it on there thin enough. I don't need to smear it with my fingers. Anyways, I'm gonna put this mesh down. I'd like it to be kind of wrinkled so you can actually see it. Let's add some over here. Come on, glue. Work with me today. Take that as a no. Come on. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. So there's that. So we got mesh now. Are you like, Tara, what are you doing here? So now we need some... I don't know that we need to cut it apart. Okay. I got some ribbon. Um, I have these big uh, eye needles that are for actual leather work. I've held on to them for a long time. They came in my book binding kit. I had no idea what I was going to do with them. And I um, honestly thought about getting rid of them on multiple occasions. But for ribbon, they work great. So I'm going to take this and let's see here. We're going to start this way, I think. Yep. It's going to go like so. Into the first hole. This is a bit of a challenge. Just pulling the ribbon through. And then we're going to go into the one to the left, top pole to the left, and pull the ribbon back through. And the ribbon kind of twists up on you, you just kind of have to manipulate it, make it do what you want it to. So there's that, and now we're going to go into the second hole on the right side from the bottom up to the top, right? Yes, I think so. I think I'm doing this right. We're gonna figure it out. It'll be whatever it'll be. Then I'm gonna cross it down to this corner. Let's see here. I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing this right. We'll see. We'll see if this turns out the way that I think it's supposed to in my mind. Okay, come on, come on. What's the hold up? Where's the problem here? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Am I just looking at this wrong? Oh, okay. I guess I'm just looking at it wrong. I don't know. Let me, let me untwist my ribbon here. Okay. Kind of pull that back apart just like so. And then... So I'm on this one, I'm going to cross it to the next one over this way. Maybe. Puncture your holes big enough for the ribbon to go through. <laughs> Something that I struggle with, I guess. Okay. Let's 
see here. My ribbon's getting kind of twisted, so I'm going to try to untwist it. There we go. And then I'm going to cross it back to the bottom one over here. And I don't really care how the back of it looks. We're going to cover that up. Come on. I wish I, ouch, wish I had um, r rubber gloves to help me grab a hold of a needle. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to cross it over to this one, going straight across. I think having the tool on here is making it a little bit more difficult to pull my needle through. Maybe I should have punctured my holes after the tool was on it, but I don't think I would have been able to see them then, so that doesn't sound like a great idea either. Okay, crossing it over this way. <laughs> Sorry about this. It's a struggle. But it's worth it, it's cute. Okay, crossing it back over this way. We're almost done, almost done. Okay, and then one more time, going in through this one. There we go. Okay, so now we're done. So now we're gonna cut the ribbon here and we're gonna cut the ribbon back here. So that's our piece so far. Get my needle put over there so that it doesn't get lost. Okay, now we still need our gold and um, even though that's kind of gold, I'm gonna put something else gold on it as well. So I was thinking about doing a tab at the top here with this fabric, a little fabric lace type piece. I hope it counts. So I was gonna do something like that. Um, I think I need to though back it first. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll add that to that. Okay, so I've just got some scrap cardstock. I'm gonna use my fabric tack. Once it, once it gets back down to the bottom of the bottle or the tip of the bottle and I'm going to glue these down so that it doesn't come undone. So just put a little bit of glue there just to make sure they stay put. Because this is supposed to last an eternity, okay? Just to put some glue all the way around the edge. And then some in the center, you know. You want it to last forever, so make sure you get it covered. Now we're going to add this, and we'll trim around it in a minute. Just want it to be back so that they got riding space. Okay, so even though this isn't really dry yet, I'm going to go ahead and kind of try to trim around it, move my tool out of the way, because I want to cut that off. I like how it's hanging off all there. I think it's cute. Move the tool. Move my tool. Okay. So now it's all backed. So that somebody can ride on it. Now we're going to add our supposed piece of fabric, which is really kind of lace, but um, I'm, I'm going to use it. I don't think anybody will complain. I hope nobody complains. <laughs> she did it wrong. She used the wrong stuff. I did my best, I did my best, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna add that gold to the center. It's gonna be real cute, real cute. Okay. One of these days I will learn to stop turning the glue bottle right side up whenever I'm in, whenever I'm using it. Whenever it's in use. Of course I just done it again as I'm talking about how I'm not going to do that again. So just like so, that's our piece. That's our journal. 
card for the challenge. I hope that whoever receives it really likes it. I put a lot of love into it and I hope that it, it this piece inspired you to do something different. Do something unique. Challenge yourself today. Maybe participate in the challenge just for yourself. You know? Anyways, I hope that you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will join me in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.